Alrighty, so a big question when it comes to no code applications that I've got and a lot of people that I know have is they struggle actually with the UI, with the front end, with how the application looks. Usually that should be the easiest thing, right? And we all want our applications to look good. But if you don't have a UI or UX background, for me, telling an AI what to do to make my app look good, I at least struggle with. And I've been looking for something that can help me minimize the time it takes to actually develop out a beautiful front end, um, you know, and actually gives me something of quality back. So I found the answer, at least I believe so. I'm going to share it with you guys. So I'm in Bolt.new, one of the no-code builders. Maybe use Curse or V0 or one of the others. I love using Bolt.new, so I'm, I'm going to use that today. The website we're going to focus on is copycoder.ai. It's a free website. Uh, here it is. It's a free website that allows you to basically upload a screenshot of any front end and it will create a prompt, a very in-depth, comprehensive prompt that you can use within Bolt to design your front end or in any of your no-code builders. So I'm going to show you how to do it. But you know, I had a thought about this and I was like, okay, we could go and take a screenshot of Microsoft Teams. We could take a screenshot of you know, any kind of application to kind of show you and so go like, look, it's recreating Microsoft Teams. Look how great that is. But I don't know where the use is in that. Is that useful? I don't think so. So to kind of show you where, or the, where we can get the most out of this and where you can actually have a good starting point is where do you go to for inspiration? Where I go to when I'm thinking, you know, I have an idea for an application, right? So whatever that might be. And I want to kind of visualize it. So I've got this thought and I'm like, okay, what would kind of be the, the buttons you click on, the categories and how would the UI look? And, you know, it's all in my head, but where I go to for inspiration is I go to dribble.com. Now, Dribble is a, again, free website to a large extent that has a whole bunch of mockups of, you know, front-end websites, um, mobile applications, and then it's got a whole bunch of other stuff, right? So everything from animations to product designs to a different, um, you know, it's got prints, it's got web design, it's got whatever it is. So, so what we're going to do is we've come to Dribble and we're going to find some inspiration. So we can start by going down and finding something that kind of piques my interest. So let's see. That looks cool. It's nice and sleek. Uh, what else? How about that? Your personalized AR for mindfulness. That could be cool. Save time. Oh, it's got a little luck. I like these. Uh, yeah, it's like a little like book a demo, little drag and drop. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So. Let's do that, right? So let's go, let's wait for that to go back down. And we're going to take a print screen once this video restarts of just the front page. Okay, there we go. So take a print screen of that. All right, so. Cool. I'm going to save that onto the, onto my PC and then cool. Save that. Then let's go to copycoder.ai, choose files. Let's go to desktop. Let's go down to the screenshot from today and pop it in. So here's our screenshot from Dribble and we're going to say generate prompts. So it's going to analyze this page, which is only pretty much off a page, right? So obviously you would have to add in a little bit more or give it, you know, multiple screenshots to say, you know, this is all the different pages as part of the website and it will keep that in mind. But it's going to analyze what we've given it and it's going to pick up and create a prompt that picks up 
everything from the font used to the color scheme and it's going to structure it right that's the big thing i can see that they use some shade of blue i can see that they've used a little slider to book a call i can see those things but how do i write the prompt you know maybe a couple of weeks ago a couple of months ago prompt engineering was a vital aspect here but now you have something that will create that prompt for you you just have to give it the screenshot you know so this is that little hack to make things move along a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. So we copy the prompt and you can see here how in-depth the prompt is, right? So it goes into layout, it goes into colors, down to the hex code for the color. And like I said, it's structured it. So we've copied that, we're coming back to bulb.new and we're gonna say, I want to create the following WEG application. Here are my design elements. Cool. So it's going to, Bolt Up is going to bring this in. It's going to obviously analyze it. It's going to pick up. You can see here, it's actually detailed the roots. It detailed the comp component architecture, where the dashboard should sit, how the desktop Container should sit. So it's actually helping from a coding perspective because it's it's structured in that set of code because Copy Coder is built for these no coder no code builders like Bolt. Alrighty, so here you go. It's an AWS cost manager. So if we compare this, which is what we have on Bolt.new, and we go back to Dribble, obviously what we're getting from Dribble is this. So it's not exactly the same but it's taken inspiration and that's what's awesome it's not copying it it's taking that inspiration from it it's picking up the colors used the design you know kind of just the way the ui looks in this case looks say time money on aws and it's got the the, the rest of the page here if we go back to bolt on new we're sitting with pretty much a close to working website obviously we'll look at you know, is, are these the categories we want? We'll have to work on the authentication, the signing page. But from a UI perspective, there you go. And then you can change it as it, however you, you, you deem fit. Um, I do see we have a problem here, which is picking up something. So we can try and just fix those. Um, but if you come back down here, you've got a cost overview. You've got total spend, projected cost, cost trends that can kind of be tracked and followed. You've got a service breakdown cost distribution and this is all with all just because of one screenshot we, all we gave copy coder was this screenshot nothing more nothing less just this it's literally the, the top half of the main page and it goes ahead and gives you all of this so um really awesome very easy to use something you can do within five minutes um, you know, if you're ever stuck with or inspiration, go into Dribble, look at different uh, UIs, then kind of take that, let the AR pull the inspiration from that. And it's a good little springboard for yourself to get inspired. So, okay, cool. You know, I like this, but I want to change this aspect and this aspect. And, your, you know, you, all your entire UI is completely taken care of. So if this helped you as much as it's helped me, uh, you know, definitely like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have got some benefit out of this. Thank you very much. I will see you guys on the next video.